Hi, my name is Dave Andrews. Today I'm going to show you how to make invitations on your computer. We're going to use Microsoft Word to do this. So let's go to our computer and open up Word. Just click on your Start button. Let's go to All Programs. Find Microsoft Office. And let's click on Microsoft Word. Now what we're going to do is make a birthday party invitation. And I've gone to the internet and I've downloaded a couple of uh, birthday-like pictures. I have, I have a picture of some cookies and a, and a birthday present. And I'm just going to drop these onto my Word document and make it as a birthday party invitation. So basically, let's sort of center our text here. And then a big uh, sort of clown-like font. Let's see if I can find a, a good one. Let's try Comic Sans. Set our uh, font to be very large and our text color to red. Let's type, you're invited. Let's make our font uh, actually a little bit larger than that one. I'm going to go with the highest it can go, 72. So there's our invitation text. And down below it, in a smaller, more regular font, let's just type in um, where and our uh, address, when, um, let's say uh, this Saturday, and above it let's put, right next to the uh, you're invited, let's do a who, and I'm just going to type uh, David's uh, fifth birthday. Now let's put a couple of images into our document here, just scroll down a little bit under that, and let's go to insert, say picture. Let's grab our uh, images that we pulled off the internet and just get those inserted here into our document. Insert picture again. And we have a picture of a birthday present as well. Now, if I go to print, and it's a print preview, there is a quick mock-up of our invitation that we've just created. As you can see, let me pull it back up, print, print preview. As you can see, it's a, it's a very easy to build your own invitations using Microsoft Word, and you can flash this up with some more pictures and different fonts and text. My name is Dave Andrews, and I've just showed you how to make invitations on your computer.